Now what I'd like to talk about is where you leave scent. And it makes a big difference to a big buck where you leave that scent on a property. And most hunters do not understand every place is like a chess game. You leave a clue here, he's got a reaction. And you need to understand how to play this chess game. So now we're going to look at my buddy Chris and use him for an example. Chris doesn't smoke and none of his friends smoke. And this is just to explain a story. Doesn't mean nothing. Chris pulls up to a red light, waiting for the light to change to go home. He's sitting there looking at the red light. He glances out the window and there lays a lit cigarette. His eyes see it. His mind won't even register it because a cigarette means nothing to Chris. The light turns green. He drives on. Now Chris pulls in his driveway. He starts walking up his sidewalk and there lays a lit cigarette in front of his door. Now Chris looks at that cigarette and goes, well, who the heck was here? He turned around and looked around to see who was just at his house. This one means something. One at the light meant nothing. Chris is going to be going, I don't know anybody that smokes. And this one's got him concerned. He's opened the door and he's still thinking about it. He walks into his house, goes over to the refrigerator, gets him a cold pop, and he's opening that up and still thinking about who the heck was just here. He turns around and on the counter lays a lit cigarette. Instantly, he has to take immediate action. Someone's inside his house. Three cigarettes at three different locations all meant something different to him. It's the same way a buck or does look at scent. So on a big field, every coyote, dog, fox, hunter, you name it, people going for a walk, walk edges. So when they come out, they always drop their head to smell, and they will tolerate it. I, what I mean is they're not going to leave your property, okay, because they smell human scent. Now, let's go back 100 yards into the woods, and now we're on a logging trail, really their sidewalk. That same scent, that doe's going to stomp a couple times on the ground. She probably going to blow a couple of times, tell everybody, pay attention. We got a problem. Now, this one means a lot to them. Now, another 100 yards back is the big buck's bedding area. That same scent that we left on the field edge, on a logging trail, and now in his bedding area. We may not see him for the rest of the hunting season because we left scent in his sanctuary, his bedding area. He will not tolerate it there. So, guys, you have to understand what you're doing when you're walking around, when you're doing things, where your scent is left means a lot to a big buck. So just keep that in mind this fall when you're hunting.